How are you today? We are flying home today. I'm just sat in front of all the stuff that we need to pack. We're leaving in about two hours. Um, um, yeah, I left, if you watched yesterday, I didn't do anything. I just left all of this stuff just here. I am now going to try and get it into bags, which is never an easy thing. And of course, Mac and iPads have got to go in, which I am not looking forward to at all. I just don't think I'm going to get, I've got two iPads and one Mac that I've got to go into hold because we're flying from Turkey to the UK and the government have put in, brought in those guidelines. They say we can't carry anything larger than a phone on board with us. Um, so yeah, I've got to pack them. and I don't hold much hope of getting both iPads and my Mac back. In one. I'm gonna, obviously going to wrap them up as much as I can. I haven't got like a, a soft case. I've got a soft case at home for my Mac, but I didn't bring it with me. I'm just have to wrap it up as well as I can. Right, I've wrapped it up. I've got like three jumpers around it, and then it's gonna like go in between all the clothes. It's my mum that's covered in cat hairs and hairs and stuff. Uh, but I don't know. This I'm just can only do what I can do, can't I? I suppose if it gets smashed, it gets smashed. I'm not so worried about the iPads. It's the Mac more that I'm worried about. But I'm still worried about the iPads a little bit, obviously. Um, yeah, right, I'm gonna continue packing. I tell you what, I'm getting good at this packing malarkey. I've managed to squish into this tiny little bag pretty much all of our clothes. Plus a Mac, plus two iPads. They're just like... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How? That's good, isn't it? Most of the clothes are in there. Like, they're just wrapped around. The Mac and the iPad are just wrapped around. Loads and loads and loads in clothes. So, hopefully, they'll still be there at the other end in one piece. Time will tell. Can you tell I'm really nervous about this? Wait, if, if I don't get how it fits. I don't, well, it, this might not, but... Right, so... Oh, it <laughs> There's no way, is there? No. Let's hang on, let's, let's not give up hope quite yet. Right, wiggle over this side. Yes, right, um, come forward now. Ah! <laughs> no way, look at all that gap, mate. There's no way, you never do that. Uh, we're almost there, I think we actually might get it closed. Oh, let me just pull that bit up. Okay, hang on. Which, which side are you going to do? it? Okay. Yes, yes, yes! So <laughs> close. Uh, yes! Oh, we did it! We closed the bag. I can't believe it. Oh. No. Stephen's playing sneaky. Are you in the washing basket. Oh, look at that! I can't believe it. So that has got all our clothes. It's actually that, that has got more or less all our clothes. Um, a map, two iPads, our shoes, and get out, and all our toiletries and makeup and stuff. That's pretty good going. All packed up. Stephen's just outside playing with the dogs. You okay? Yeah. Are you ready to go? Did you go to the toilet, yeah? Oh. No, I didn't. No, you didn't. Right, we're off. Look. <laughs> they all trying to climb on. We've arrived at the airport. That took, didn't that take long in the car? I thought it took really long. It took about an hour and 15. Longer than normal. We've arrived and oh my goodness, there's a huge queue to drop our bags. Look. Massive. No. Oh my goodness, that line took forever. It's now half past no. one. We're supposed to fly at quarter past two. We're just about to go through security and everything. I was panicking a bit because our hand luggage is definitely not below. We only have six kilograms. 
Uh, hand luggage and our luggage is definitely not allowed. Um, it's not under six kilos. But um, and she was wait she was weighing everyone's hand luggage and making them pay and making them like change and everything. I was like, oh my goodness. But she didn't make us, so that was okay. Right, gonna go through security. Okay, so as um, as slow as that queue was. We're through. That li we're literally what two minutes later, and we're through um, security, through passport control. That was so quick. I didn't have to get any of my drone out or anything. Yeah. And actually, could we haven't got our laptops and iPads and everything? It all just goes through so quickly. Let's go and find a screen. Screen to see. Oh, yeah. yeah, to see what gate we are. Twenty-six. Okay, we are Manchester Gate Twenty-six. Ooh. Okay, we're trying to find just a shop where you can buy. Um, we just want like a box. We've made a sandwich in that from home. We just want um, what's it called? Like a bottle of water and some crisps or something. There's no shop. <laughs> nothing's open. Well, actually, nothing's open. Look, there's a KFC, Pizza Hut, Burger King. There's all sorts, but nothing is open. Okay, we're going straight to the gate because I think we're boarding. I need to earn it now. Well, they started boarding, it's quarter past, but we are stuck with security at the moment. I will let you know more in a second. Okay, so that was a nightmare. So easy through normal security was fine, but then when we got to the gate, we had additional security checking... Um, just to go to the UK? Just, yeah, just for the UK checking. All the bags, like opening the bags and going through them all and everything. And obviously, because I've got the bloody drone, I mean, he said we were honestly there for, like, everyone went through, we were the last to come through, we were there for at least half an hour at this place. We've stuff people are strewn all over the place. Yeah, I know. We, were sat, we were sat there for 25 minutes. We were there for ages, and like, all my stuff from the bags are just all over the place. And um, anyway, the problem was the lithium battery. Am I just there to check that big bag? Oh no, don't. Oh, don't oh, we'd never get it back. But um, no, the issue was the lithium battery, and he was saying, "Did you bring the lithium battery from the UK?" I was like, "I've been everywhere, like China, Thailand, France, Spain. We've been all over the place with that lithium battery, and it's always been fine." He said, "New regulations have come in in the last six months." I was like, "Well, that's when I've been doing the travelling in the last six months." Um, so anyway, so after he was on the phone, messing like everyone was involved. And then he said that he'd have to check with the captain if he'd let it on. I was like, oh, otherwise we can't board. Like, well, if that happens, we just have to leave the battery. Which they cost like £100, they're not cheap, they're expensive batteries. Um, but the captain has come, to come back and said, we're allowed it on. So we're finally through. So there's the... No, he's not the captain, he spoke to the captain. So we're finally through. It's now about 20 past two. We're supposed to leave Everything at four past. Our seats are going. Finally starting to board. Stephen's trying to get up. You know where you get up. <laughs> Try. You could just sit on the floor and without um, like putting your hands or knees or anything on the floor, just stand up. Can you? I can't do it. I'm gonna. I'm, can't I? <laughs> just try it. If, just at home. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best. <laughs> I feel like that's taken forever, literally forever. It's a big plane, isn't it? We are always on that side. Keep getting stuck. Just see aircraft has arrived on the stand and the passengers. 
sometimes have been switched off. Please be careful when you do the other lock in case there's actually a fallout. I'm so good to film up the video. We've been through passport control, just going to grab our bag now and my brother-in-law and he is picking us up. I don't know whether we're living here or not. We made up the time, we did leave late, didn't we? Like 45 minutes late, but we made up the time on the flight, I think. So I think we've landed, no, we have landed a little late, maybe half an hour late, maybe. Like, right, find the bag. Yeah, we got it. We got our bag, hopefully. There's a nice Mac in there and two yeah. iPads that aren't broken. That'd be good. That would be good, wouldn't it, right? Let's go. Are you glad to be back? Yeah. Yeah. I have a funny feeling. It's like I was kind of ready to come home for a little bit, but now it's like literally as soon as I'm home, now I'm like, oh, I'm not. Don't want to be in England anymore. I haven't even made it out yet. <laughs> When you put the fire on, I was bothered because they go up there. Yeah. That looks weird. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, it's all messy. Getting decorated. Oh, oh my goodness me. No, there's no carpet. It looks weird. Ceiling looks bad. Right, let's see if I have a broken Mac or I think it I think I've got a a non-broken Mac. You can open. Stephen's got his new game. Right. Let me see. Battlefield 1. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's okay, Stephen. iPads and Mac are all in one piece. That's good. Church <laughs> and He's so big. He's he's huge. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh. Has he got even more fluffy, or is yeah. it just because? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he's, he's not got he's not got any nuts. Laura says. Have you not got any nuts, Mister? Hello. Have you missed us? We sniff it. They're sniffing all like the clothes and stuff that are from it's the other it. animals, the other cats, aren't they? Yeah. Well, you not like that. It's gotten a little bit later, we've been home for a while now, just been kind of catching up and stuff and put my washing on and doing some bits. Just sort of went to chill out, went to have a look on Netflix. Blacklist is not available on the UK Netflix, the thing that we've been watching the last couple of days in Turkey. It's so good. I'm so annoyed that it's not, we can't watch it. I, I think it's available on Amazon, we have to pay for it and stuff, I'll have to have a little... Look, I think I'm probably, I'm just going to chill out. I'm quite tired, to be honest. It's like a little, we're a little bit later, like we're two hours ahead, so I think it's like 10 o'clock-ish for us or something like that. I've got all cosy in my onesie. I'm feeling really sleepy. I don't really know what the time is. Like quarter past eight, I think the time is here. I'm tired. Um, I'm just doing a bit of work, a bit of editing, a bit of replying to emails and things. Oh. Stephen has just started his game, that's what that horrible shooting noise is uh, in the background. I think I'm probably just gonna. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I'm just gonna end the vlog here because. Yeah, I'm just gonna do a bit of work and a bit of. I don't know, to be honest, but anyway, yeah. It's good to be home. It's kind of crappy to be home, but good to be home. I have mixed feelings about being home, but hey. Um, we are home for a little bit and Stephen's happy to be here, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, he's happy. He's got a game. He's happy. It's bad. Right, but anyway, I will see you tomorrow. Good night.